Hey guys, XC, and today I'm going to show you to make a cool little grungy looking background that you can use for YouTube, for a signature, for your desktop background, anything you want really. So let's get started. We want to make a new file, make it 1280 by 720 or whatever size you need for the project you're going to be working on. And then you're going to want to make it whatever color you want, so I'm going to do green because green has a nice grungy look and it's my favorite color. So go to the gradient tool then and draw the gradient however you want. So I want a little bit more black in the bottom, so eh, not that much. So that looks pretty good in my opinion. And then what you're going to want to do is download some grungy brushes. I'll have a link in the description for the ones I use, but you can always just go to BrushEasy.com. I'll have a link for that as well. And just search like grungy brushes or something like that. So, And I also have a tutorial on how to install it, so if you're not sure how to install brushes, click the annotation on the screen and it'll show you how to install them. So after we do that, you're going to want to come to the brushes you've installed and start placing them. So... Oopsie, sorry. I forgot. You want them to change the color back to black. Make sure you do that. Alright, so then you just want to start placing these grungy brushes all around. So, um, This is one I really like. If you make this one bigger, there it gives it a nice little, like, more thinned out type view. Alright, so let's put a couple more. It's a little bit darker, so I'll kind of put that down there. And what you can do is make a new layer for each individual one if you want. Um, that just makes it so in case you don't like a simple, like a single one you put, you don't have to go like this and go back manually through all of them. You can just delete the one you don't like, but that's only if you want to. You don't have to do it. So, oh, yeah. There we go. That's pretty nice in my opinion. So we're going to want to do next is add some text. All right, then make it say whatever you want. I'll have mine say the extreme one. The, t uh, the font I'm using is called Angelic War, so you can just look that up on YouTube or Google or something. Not YouTube, why would you look it up on YouTube? It's a font. Silly me. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to want to place that towards the middle, and then you're going to want to double click on the uh, layer, and go to Inner Glow, and that adds a nice little outline to it. And you can also add Bevel and Emboss, that gives it a nice metallic type look, so I really like that. And then after you do that, you're going to want to come to this layer, and come to uh, Inner Shadow. And you can drag the size up, and that gives it a nice little border type thing that kind of adds to the grunge effect. And you can also hit bevel and emboss, and that gives it a nice little border effect, like a 3D type look. So, And there you go, a cool little grungy type background that you can use for anything, really. You can incorporate this to a signature, an avatar, a background, anything you want. So, thanks for watching, and bye!